What is the ballsiest way somebody you know quit their job? One of my cooks calmly walked to the ice machine in the middle of the shift. I didn't think too much of it, until he came back with a bucket of ice and dumped it in the fryers. The entire kitchen went dead silent for what seemed like forever. Then all of a sudden the low boiling noise started. Within seconds the fryers are throwing boiling oil all over the place. About 30 seconds later they catch on fire and the fire suppression system goes off. It sprays a 6 inch layer of foam everywhere. The guy walks to the microphone in the kitchen and calmly says frick all of you, I'm out. We had to shut down for 2 days to clean up the mess and the cook was arrested and sued. It was epic, but couldn't have been worth it in the end. Bucket of ice and dumped it in the fryers. If anyone hasn't worked in a kitchen and is trying to envision this, think a volcano of 350 degree oil. Working at a movie theater, just kept popping popcorn, like, overflowing onto the ground, didn't even look away until the manager said you're fired. Friend worked at a major shopping center in a deli, it was his last day anyway so he wasn't exactly trying to get fired. He changed one of the signs on the trays of meat to hand strangled veal. Not one person noticed all day. I made the receipt header for a coffee shop I was leaving say hail satan. His reign is upon us. The blood of the innocents will cleanse us all it took a week before anyone noticed. It I had just walked into a Taco Bell about a minute before where someone quit on the spot and freaking trashed the place I mean food and cup and bags and drinks all over the place behind the counter. One worker girl was frantically on the phone with police just freaking out saying he trashed the place he trashed the place. Needless to say I did not get my bean burrito. I'm genuinely upset that you didn't get a burrito. My brother quit his last job. He had been hired to do the digital art for some advertising projects at the company with the promise that he would be advanced director of the advertising art division if his project was successful. He worked hard, the client loved it. His management gave him another project. Same result, the client loved his work. Fast forward 2 years and he has had 26 successful projects. And he is updating the company's website for them at no cost. He never billed for web dev hours. Since he did web development before he went into advertising. Lo and behold, they say that they are hiring a new manager for the art division. My brother is understandably upset, so he goes to see his boss. He finds out that no only is he not getting the position he was promised, but he is essentially getting demoted since they are restructuring the art division. He went back to his desk and made 26 phone calls, then logged onto the company's public portal and reverted the website to the original version and cleared off all the files he had worked on. He walked back to his boss's office, told him he was quitting and left the building, saying goodbye to his friends on the way out. He went back to doing freelance ad work and was making almost 3 times the money while working at home. Worked at a restaurant a few years ago that was the pits. It was a terrible place to work but the tips were great so I stuck with it. One guy had had enough of it after his paycheck bounced. So he went into the manager's office, looked her square in the eye and said I quit. You freaking be and placed his apron on the desk. As he was walking through the kitchen he took one of the sacks of flour we used to make dough, threw it over his shoulder and said this is mine and walked out. If you're going to appropriate food in lieu of your paycheck I suggest you raid the filet mignon and the saffron, not the flour. Some background first. I worked at a company that had an owner who was not paying people for their final two weeks when they resigned. I was one of those who got stiffed, later got my pay when the state intervened. After I quit, a former employee of mine, a tech writer working on a big project from his home office decided that the missed and late paydays and horrible treatment from the owner was enough. He decided to quit without notice. He gathered up all the equipment that the company gave him and he took it into the office. He dropped it on the floor and said, I'm out. B one of the directors asked him if he was going to be available for any transition or other information exchange to which he replied. When you pay all the people who have left and have still not received their pay, I will transition knowledge. To my knowledge, that transition never occurred, yet he received his final two weeks pay and unpaid vacation without issue. Go figure. The Philly Run. A friend worked in Northern Virginia at an office job he hated. On the day he decided he was done. He clocked in, left, drove to Philadelphia, over 2.5 hours, for a cheesesteak, returned to the office job, and clocked out. 
Now, if he bought cheesesteaks for all the sound people he worked with, that would have been up there with the best of the best. A bartender I worked with had a really bad run, was a little strung out on coke and life in general, but anyway, we had this really bad day at work and this woman kept pestering us about the service, eventually he just took the money she was holding up to get our attention, got his lighter out from his pocket, set fire to the bill and held it in front of her while saying something like frick you, you retarded fricking bee, then he just left and never came back, he is kinda crazy, so I am happy he left. I didn't work with him, but I'm reminded of the JetBlue male flight attendant who popped the emergency exit slide, popped open two beers, drank them on the way down the slide and left. When the police arrived at his house he was made into course with his wife. I guess there comes a point when enough is enough, lol. I like to think I can drink fast, but dang two beers on a slide. I need to shake this man's hand, or probably give him a fist pound through the prison glass. I was shopping at Walmart one night, probably around 8 or 9, for some laundry detergent. As I was looking for the right aisle, a navy blue collared shirt went soaring from cash register 11 to aisle 14. I turned to my right and saw a shirtless black man with a 90s Mike Tyson fade, a golden Jesus necklace, and a chest tattoo that reads Stu Man Chu. After watching his shirt slowly float to the ground. He proceeded to go to his register's intercom and say attention all customers. This end just quit after putting his high flying middle finger down. He ducked underneath his register. Went ahead and pulled out a folded razor to folded razor to folded razor he assertively put on his Jansport backpack. Pried open the scooter. Flung the base of it around his hip. And with one rooster swipe of the shiny Walmart floor. He went from 0 to 60 in 3.5. The automatic doors diverged like the Red Sea. And the man, without any regret, scooted his way into the arms of unemployment. Thank you for the gold OP, you made my day. Scooted his way into the arms of unemployment, that made my day. Been working at Walmart for a good 7 years. The only time anyone actually quit in a way to be any type of story happened about 3 years ago or so. He was a CSM, customer service manager, and was at the return desk trying to help these two ghetto butt ladies. They were trying to return something with no receipt. Problem besides the missing receipt was you could tell the item was bought many many years ago. So once he declined it, they started to cause a scene. Making fun of him for working at Walmart and saying he wasn't going anywhere in life act. Act. What they didn't know was, Walmart s actually his second job and he actually worked for some government branch. After about 15 minutes of their hazing, he quietly removed his badge, came around the counter, removed his shirt, got on the intercom, yelled he quit, then looked at the two ghetto ladies and asked now that I don't work here anymore would you like to go outside like you suggested earlier. They were shocked and just standing there, then he just replied with I freaking thought so, you stupid hoodrats, and then just walked out. While I worked a crappy dishwashing job part time, one of the other guys who did the shift before me was pretty scummy. Imagine your stereotypical British chav, and it was exactly him. The big dishwashing machine was a little excitable. It would blast water towards the opening hatch so hard that it would leak pretty badly even when sealed shut. So, imagine the look of surprise on my face when I walked in for my shift to see a buck-toothed chav, butt naked, being blasted by scalding hot water head to toe from an open dishwasher yet still wearing a backwards, facing cap that was surviving the ordeal. He looked at me and I managed to decipher the opening sentence to done with a shit. Still naked and soaked, he confidently strode to his Mini Cooper and drove home. I never saw him again after that. The big dishwashing machine that's no way to talk about your yeah, man. Coworker was on his last weekend shift and had already landed a job elsewhere. He never got along with management but he did his job very well. Call center type of work with 247365. Support. We have 4 people that work on the weekends and you have to scan your id badge and then immediately punch in your 4 digit code. The doors were so scumbaggy that people on the weekday shift would just enter through the main lobby rather than fight the doors. Well according to his story and the security tapes that support his story it went down like this. He arrived at 7.50am and tried to punch in his card. Failed the first time. No big deal. Second attempt was a fail. 
After his fifth try he said he became so enraged that he decided to roundhouse kick the keypad. This but a huge hole into the wall. He calmly reached into the wall and scanned his badge and punched in his code. Door opens perfectly. He worked Saturday and Sunday. Came in Monday to pick up his check and was promptly told that it was being held for damages to the property. Funniest story ever especially watching the tapes. Apparently it should be noted he had McDonald for breakfast and had to drop the biggest juice ever so waiting for the door to cooperate was not an option. TL. DR. Coworker freaked out at the keypad and roundhouse kicked it. McDonald's hotcakes and sausage. Better than X slacks. I was bartending at the time. One of our buses had bushy red hair. One night our general manager told him he needed to get a haircut. He proceeded to get quite drunk after work and showed up with a shaved head and a ziploc bag full of his hair which he slid under the door to the office this happened at the best buy i worked at right before i started the story goes that a woman was at the geek squad desk yelling at one of our agents telling him how bad he was at his job and just being a general b after about 15 20 minutes or so of him trying to explain what was wrong with her computer and putting up with this behavior he finally just snapped my general manager was standing next to him, so he turned to my GM, said I quit the turned back to the lady, and with enough volume so that the warehouse team heard it clearly on the opposite side of the store, he yells directly in her face maam, you're a freaking c and then left forever. Legend has it that in certain parts of the store you can still hear the word c echoing through the walls. Another time as an assistant manager of a retail outlet I was passed up for manager yet again and a drinking buddy of the regional manager got the manager job with zero experience. I had already been running the store alone for a few months since the last manager quit. I made sure I had all the keys. The next morning I ordered an egg McMuffin meal and a coffee and sat and watched the entire mall open except for our store. A few hours later I get a call. Yes. I know the store is closed. I know because it can't possibly be open because I quit. I'm watching the store right now. Definitely closed. They lost most of the day's sales. Frick em. Not really ballsy, but by far one of the funnier things I've ever seen. I was sitting in McDonald's enjoying some chicken nuggets some time at night when one of the workers starts yelling and tramping around. He tires himself out pretty quickly and leaves with an adamant freak you'll not 5 minutes later he walks back in and says I bet y'all didn't think I was coming back he keeps bragging about his stellar achievement and then slowly slips into one of the workers hey what time are you off I need a ride I lost it at that tl dn McDonald's worker quits leaves in a storm then walks back in asking for a ride when he can't find one in all fairness not many people can work at McDonald's and afford a car. A man and a woman I worked with were fraternizing. There was a no fraternizing clause in our contract. I knew them both fairly well. They told me and I had seen them together outside of work. It was a stupid clause but it paid well. Anyway company meeting. Talking about new directions and how they will start enforcing certain things more strictly. Manager asks for questions or comments. The guy raises his hand. Manager called on him. Frick you. Frick your rules. I quit. He stood up, walked over to the woman and kissed her. Turned and gave the manager the finger and walked out. I started clapping. No one joined in. Fratronizibk. I'm not normally one to point out someone's typo, but this one made me start giggling like an idiot. So thank you. Was at the trash collection facility disposing of an old sofa, and maybe a dead H. When the guy driving one of the blue recycling trucks go into an argument with his boss. The boss told him after he dumped his load of recyclables. He needed to park the truck in front of the shop and come collect his last paycheck because he was fired. I couldn't believe the boss's audacity to expect him to finish working after he'd already been fired. The guy flipped the handle on the truck while the boss was walking away. Pulled the pins on the tailgate and dumped 4 tons of glass bottles in middle of the parking lot. The noise was unbelievable. The boss was shouting at him. The employee flipped him the bird, went into the office and collected his last check. It was unfreaking believable. Am I the only one who would have finished the job and collected the check? I am such a sap. 
I worked at a bar when I was younger. Actually, I was a minor, but I needed to work and bartending was one of the few jobs that had a schedule that allowed me to go to school at the same time. The 40 something owner constantly sexually harassed me. I don't mean flirtation or passes. I mean asking me to suck his dong, commenting on my juicy pee and slapping my butt. Real Romeo. He even had an apartment above the bar. I couldn't complain to labor standards because I was working under the table, being underage and all. Anyway, fortunately, I had the fortitude to say no and keep myself safe from him but after a willy became harder to dodge and I couldn't handle other things that were going on at the bar so I decided to quit. On the night I decided was my last. I didn't charge any customer, mostly regulars, for any of their booze. Ended up giving away a couple thousand in alcohol on the house and pocketing some pretty generous tips. In the same way I couldn't report him, he couldn't report me so, in the end, I felt it was a pretty fair frick you. TL. Doctor. Boz at a bar sexually harassed me so I gave out a bunch of booze on the night I quit. A technician we used to have also partially owned a strip club. He came in one morning, ripped out of his gird, in a limo. Three of the girls who worked for him were with him also. He got out of the limo, climbs up onto his toolbox, in underwear and cowboy boots only, and just starts dancing like crazy. Tells most of the management to frick off, climbs back down, and leaves. Needless to say, we hired him back four years later. My boss told me that. By the end of that day, I had to submit the name of one of my three employees to be laid off. After discussing with my GF on the phone, I wrote my own name down on a piece of paper and handed it to my boss. The look on his face was priceless. You are a class act. Your boss is a Dow Chicano. Summer job at landscaping. Job required us to take company trucks to the houses businesses whose lands were to be scaped. I had only been there for the summer, but the guy who quit was a full timer of 4 years. One day he accidentally does a wrong address. Hey, free flower bed touch up, and the boss calls him threatening to make him pay. He is in an adjacent town at the time, so he calls his girlfriend to pick him up. Leaves the truck where it is, calls the boss, quits, and tells him to go get his truck. My first day at a new chain convenience store, graveyard shift, I show up, no uniform, old chain was bought out by new chain, and the clerk is nowhere to be found, the parking lot is full of people loading store product into their cars, the most epic was a lady with a trunk full of huggies, and every 40 ounces be a bottle the store had left, my first thought was that he was dead or tied up in the back, I look around for him, can't find him, for all I knew, he could have been one of the people emptying store out. I go behind the counter, the cash register's empty, and two guys are working hacksaws on the safe under the counter. It took me a while to go through the paperwork thrown everywhere, until I found the store manager's phone number. I called him up. Now that I think about it I'm surprised the phone was still there. He says to call the police. He is on his way. I told the two guys working the safe I was calling the cops, and just as casual as you please, they got up walked out announcing to everyone what was happening. They all just casually left. Everyone got out of there, before the cops and manager showed up, and that's when I noticed on the door, was a sign taped to it. It said, clock just quit, store is unattended, take what you want. I spent the rest of the shift helping the manager clean up, and basically only sold gas the rest of the week while waiting on new inventory to come in. That's because he wasn't even supposed to work that day. Worked at a pipe drilling company, they issued a drug test. He told me he was accused of cheating, so he got upset, undid his overalls, and, with nothing underneath, proceeded to talk Ace Ventura style out of his butthole, saying he would never cheat then stood up and whipped his dong around lasso style, followed by a move we now call the P-helicopter, managed to fill up the test cup, 13 panel test, and he was positive for 12. Woman giving test had one week to go before retiring, but said it didn't matter and quit right then and there, and left a little less dry than she had came. TLDR, spinning around and P gets you fired. I used to work at this restaurant and one day I get a frantic call from my boss asking me if I could come in and work. Apparently the cashier and the sushi chef, who were dating, just flat out left. The only other people working there were the cooks and they had no idea they were gone, until a good half hour or so. 
I thought that was pretty ballsy and stupid of them to just leave the restaurant unattended. Someone could have easily stolen one of the TVs, money from the register, or even stuff from the sushi bar. My Spanish teach once told me a great story about how he quit his telemarketing job. He was in college at our crappy community college and decided to just stop going to work. He went back 6 months later, acted like he had done nothing wrong. They didn't notice. He never went to work at the telemarketing center ever again. A year after, they called him and told him it wasn't working out. Must be a telemarketing thing. I just stopped going to my telemarketing job one day and 6 months later got a call asking if I planned on being in on Monday. I'm a lifeguard. At our facility, we have certain whistle signals that we use to signify certain things. Well one of these signals was one that meant a spinal injury, and not just some oh he's got whiplash kind of thing. Like a oh crap his spine is broken. Anyway, this guy apparently had had enough of working at our water park and decided to just leave his stand in the middle of his shift, while blowing that signal on his whistle. Paramedics were called, and by the time they arrived, he was long gone was quite an interesting day. A couple of years ago my friends and me sat at the Rhine and were having a great time. It was a hot summer day and we had a little BBQ. On the Rhine there are a lot of tourist boats cruising up and down between Koblenz and Cologne. We sat there and suddenly we hear a loud splash from one of the smaller boats that was approaching us. It was a guy who jumped off the boat and swam to the shore, got out of the water and walked away. Later I've read in the newspaper that this was an employee who had enough. Still brings a smile to my face. Literally jumped ship. I worked in an office and one guy collected all of the little round paper discs from whenever we used the three hole punch. He put them all into an empty coffee can. Almost full. Then he rage quit after a dispute with the boss and flung that can full of tiny paper discs all over the office like confetti. It has been over a year since he left and we are still picking those things up. No joking. An employee came to work with a gun and shot himself in the head in the parking lot. What nerve. Didn't even give his two week notice. IT guy at my office sent a company wide email. 2600 people. On his way out that said IT was doing updates and could everyone please delete their system 32 file and then gave steps on how to delete it. My friend worked at a popular fast food chain. Their policy was to throw out food that was left by the end of the day. The manager was a huge dong and was being a huge dong this particular day. He also refused to give my friends overtime pay. A few hours before closing time, he grabbed two bags and stuffed it with burgers and chicken. His co-workers was in on this. He walked home while handing out food to the homeless people. Oh and he wrote your a dong on the manager's macbook, with a sharpie. My brother quit his job at Sizzler by getting naked, putting his name badge through his navel ring and walking through the customers shaking hands and saying thank you for the memories. I love you bro. I had a friend who was a salesman for a technology wholesaler back in the early 90s. He had recently found out that his pancreatic cancer had relapsed and he wanted to go out in an epic fashion. He made all of his orders for the next week by one get two free. Servers, hard drives, modems, etc. All BOGT. By the time the company found out, he had given away several million worth of inventory. He went home his last night shot himself up with a massive amount of morphine and died in his sleep from the overdose. My first serious girlfriend was a real knockout. She had an under the table gig selling hot dogs at a stand outside of a Home Depot when she was 16 or 17. I would hang out with her sometimes. The owner didn't like me hanging around and would often try to chase me off and tell her I couldn't be around the stand. I ignored him most of the time because I know I could hang out in front of Home Depot all I wanted. But typically I didn't want to cause trouble for her so I'd wander inside when he came around till he left. One day he came up and caught me near her and told me to leave and that if he caught me there again he was going to fire her. She got mad and asked him why he cared she always did her job. He responded by saying, I'm paraphrasing here, that he had hired her because her tea and butt sell more hot bits than he would but nobody is gonna take the bait when her boyfriend is around. She promptly picked up one of the bins full of mildly hot hot dogs and water and dumped it over his head, then asked me for a ride home. I didn't even have the chance to stand up for her, she had that crap on her own. Once again proving that biological testicles are not a prerequisite for codjones.
If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.